Hi everyone! I am back with another Dollar Tree haul. I feel so good because after this Dollar Tree haul, I will finally be caught up with the hauls from Dollar Tree. Um, as you guys know, I was MIA for a while and um, have accumulated a lot of things over the past couple of months. So this will be um, the most recent one and I will probably go back to doing it um, more on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis, depending on if I find a lot or not. Um, I think I'll probably stop buying as much um, going forward um, for next couple of months because, uh, again, I'm saving up for a short trip in July. So I don't really want to spend a lot. I think the only thing um, I want to get uh, from the Dollar Tree that I haven't found yet are more of the new washi tapes. So um, most of the stores that I've spoken to, they haven't gone in yet. So I hope to catch it before they are all sold out. But anyway, I wanted to come back with another Dollar Tree haul with some of my other finds. Um, for those of you who have not watched it yet, I did upload one a video yesterday that was of all the um, health and beauty items. Um, this haul will consist of other random finds, household um, items, decor, a little bit of stationery, um, but for the most part it's going to be um, the remaining items that I wanted to share with you guys in the haul. So let's get started. I picked up a couple of really cute gift bags and I think they are so adorable. Um, I think most of us here like cupcakes and sweets and treats. So I got this one that is like the ice cream sundae and it is on both sides of the bag but one side has glitter the other doesn't so I don't know if I will be using these as gift bags yet or I might use it for a project I'm still deciding look at this one with the donut I love this one and then this one has the popsicle stick so those were the new bags that I was really excited about um, picked up a couple of decor items I forgot to show you guys these last time these are the solar dancing flowers and I thought they are really cute I only got three of the colors um, I got this one in the red rose and then this one is in I think they're tulips very pretty like purple lavender color and then this one the yellow I think they're like daisies but I'm going to put this in my uh, kitchen by the kitchen window because that's right where I wash the dishes and I thought these would be really cute um, facing the backyard so I got those and then a couple of projects that I want to work on I did pick up this uh, foam block right here and then um, to go with that I got some moss to go with it as well so I plan on uh, doing a DIY um, with this um, and I have a mason jar that I'm going to use as well but anyway I am very excited for my DIY pick those up also picked up some photo frames um, didn't you didn't pick up a lot they had a lot of new ones but really the ones that caught my eye was this one that says home is our happy place I love the shabby chic look of it um, especially here with the floral designs it has some birds on it and then I don't know if you guys can see there's actually little gem stones on the top and the bottom of it so I thought that one's really nice I love the color and then this one right here it says love you to the moon and back so this one has uh, the gold and the white very very pretty um, I just love anything with the go tones right now so I picked up two of those frames um, the other items that I picked up were some artificial succulents so I did haul these uh, last year and they are back at the Dollar Tree so I picked up a couple you guys can see them here there's this one and there's this one and then I also picked up this uh, plastic bowl like um, container that I'm going to put some pebbles in it and put these all uh, together as a uh, decor I think it was uh I think it was Dollar Tree Mama she did a DIY um, that was like this as well and so I uh, really wanted to do that as well with these artificial succulents I think it'll look super nice so I got those can't wait to use that um, picked up some houseware items I found this this is the Lysol uh, power and free tap top um, I got two of them I got this one in the citrus sparkle scent and then this one in the oxygen 
splash scent and it is in a pretty um big bottle 14 fluid ounces each and supposedly you're supposed uh you're going to put the sponge um or the uh you know towel whatever you plan on using and you're supposed to press down on it and the moisture is supposed to uh come up on it now i don't know how i would uh like it but i'm going to give it a try i think one good thing is sometimes when we buy, buy these um wet wipes they do dry up so instead of giving you the wipe they're just going to give you the um, I guess it's the liquid and then you can use your own towel or sponge to apply to it so I was excited to find this um, it is from the Lysol brand so hopefully it will work well if it does um, I will pick up more um, I also got the fabric softener and refreshers a lot of you have been uh, raving about this so I got two of them it says it's the floral scent enhancers I, I know they come in different colors I don't know if they make much of a difference but I picked up two of those um, I also needed some new air freshener so I got this one with the snuggle bear this is the fresh linen scent I also got some um, clips for um, snacks in the kitchen so I got this one that has these ducks on it I thought they were so cute um, they also had the one that um, I hauled last year the one with I think it's a face of like a, a frog and a, a ladybug but I thought these ducks were cute so I went ahead and got that um, also got this this is the gain um, with Febreze tall kitchen quick tie bags Nothing special. We need garbage bags, but I think that one will smell really good. I also got this. This is in the home organization area. It's the Essentials Over the um, Over Cabinet Towel Bar. What I like about it is that I can extend it like this, and it's kind of like the metal uh, chrome material, so I think that would look nice in the bathroom. Good for hanging uh, towels and very easy to install. I don't need to screw it in. It's just going to hang over the door. Now, speaking about some other um, household items, I did pick up some storage items. I picked up these baskets, which are really pretty. This is the magazine uh, one for me to put um, some of my coloring books. Um, I also got the bigger baskets which are these ones right here so I think most of you have seen how these look like before they look like this uh, with the pink flowers and the teal so I got two of each of those I also got two more of these these are the plastic um, almost acrylic like containers and I've hauled uh, some a couple of months back I wanted to pick up two more of these because again I stacked them um, on top of each other so there'll be two sets of them and I think it'll make great great storage um, for my vanity and then I also got this this is for the kitchen it's a um, cake mold it's a cake silicone mold but it's in the shape of a heart I thought that was so so cute so I only saw one I just went ahead and picked that up I had no idea was it new or not but I didn't see it in my other stores but I just thought that is a super cute to use as a mold also got some cleaning products for my car this is from the turtle wax brand which I think it's a pretty popular uh, auto um, brand so this is the protectant wipes so it cleans, shines, protects. Um, I also got the multi-purpose cleaning wipes. So I think one's supposed to um, shine it, and then this one is for plastic, vinyl, and rubber. And then last but not least, I got the one for um, the leather wipes for the um, chairs in my car. So I hope these work well. They still feel like they're pretty moist, uh, so it doesn't seem like it's dried up. So I will give those a try. Also for my car, I picked up this. This is the vent wrap. Now I picked up the one that was for the visor, like a clip um, last week in one of my other hauls. So you guys may have seen that, but I wanted to give this one a try too and see which one I like better. But they do have a lot of these right now in the dollar uh, trees. And the smell is actually really strong. I clipped the vent one in my car and it is very long lasting, it seems like. So um, I'm hoping that these work well as well. If these work better, these come in a four pack. So four for a dollar, I think would work. Um, really good. Can't beat that. <laughs> so 
in terms of some craft and stationary items, picked up some uh, duct tape. Now, I haven't been going crazy with the duct tape. I only pick up the ones I really, really like. Um, so this was back from close to the Easter um, time frame where they had a lot of these bright colors. But this one was the only one that stood out to me um, with the kind of almost like polka dot confetti-like and streamer um, effect. So I thought this one looked very festive and I love the colors. So I got this one. They had a lot of 4th of July ones as well um but I, I just got this one because this one doesn't scream out fourth of july or memorial day but yet the colors are um the patriotic colors so i went ahead and got those um i got another pack of these pom-poms i like the colors on these pom-poms so i will be making um some more paper clips with it yeah using them for different projects um got one roll of this um kind of like a sequence ribbon i love the color of this one so i went ahead and got that all right on to some stationary items i got this this is the bic pencil extra craze they're like in these mini lead pencils and i thought the designs were really cute so I got that. I also got these uh, tie pencils. Not like I really need pencils, you guys, but I thought these were so cute. So the Thai, um, T.Y. Beanie Babies. So there's like the one with the owls and the monkeys. Um, this one I think is like a rabbit. So I thought the cute, uh, the prints were really cute and colorful. These were also new in the store. These are sticker notes. So I think they're kind of like uh, mini page flags, but look how cute they are. They're in the shape of a bear, um, the head of a bear, and it has all these different prints on them. Um, they also have these in the hearts and then these ones in the arrow. Now there, it seems like it's not a lot, but they do say there's a hundred, but maybe because there's so many different ones. So each stack is uh, really small. There's probably like 10 of them. Um, in each uh, stack but I thought these are so so cute to use in my planner so I went ahead and got those I mean Dollar Tree has really been stepping up on their stationery and planner goodies like um, last time when I found the paper clips I was so excited I can't believe it was just a dollar um, I also got this this is like a 3d um, bookmark and of course I had to get it because it has the cupcake prints on them I thought that was so fun and colorful I also picked up one of these magnetic notepads. They had a lot, you guys, but I don't want to go crazy on the notepads. Um, so I only picked this one up because this was the one that I liked. But I like how it's um, split in three different parts. So I can actually cut them to use in my uh, journal. So the top one says to do. The second one says notes. And then the third one is email and uh, call. Uh, so I thought that would be great to um, cut up and use. Um, also found some new stickers, you guys. This is the um, Jot stickers, and I've never seen these before. So these must be new in my stores, but it's kind of like this uh, bohemian theme. So this one right here is like this boho, um, you know, with the feathers and kind of like a tribal theme. You see the elephant right here and they are the pop-up kind. Um, so I got that one. I got this one with the birds. Very pretty, very colorful. And then I love this one, you guys. This one has like the coffee theme, the coffee and the teacups and the cupcakes. I mean, these look like it could be for a mural, right? I really like it. And then the um, other one I picked up was this one with the flower pots on them and the vines and leaves. And then this one right here has the hearts on them. So they had so many new stickers, you guys. But other than um, these ones and those uh, new ones for the planners, I wasn't too interested in the other ones, you know, the googly eye ones. Um, those, again, I have a lot of those and um, just didn't get my interest uh, outside of these ones because these ones are very different from the other stickers that I have. So got that one. And then I also saw this. This is the Lisa Frank uh, sticker book. Um, I don't remember if this is new or not, but I don't think I've picked it up before. But look how cute they are with the little animals um, sitting inside the cupcake. There's these lollipop ones. Um, there's this one, all these animals. Love it. Love the colors. Love Lisa Frank. Unicorns, rainbows, the peace side. Oh, look at those <laughs> lip ones. Very fun. And then, of course, there's this page as well with the various animals. So it's like a four page um, pack, four sheets. Super, super fun. 
All right, I also picked up some books over the past couple of months. Um, this one is just a very small book. It says The Happy Life, The Search for Contentment uh, in the Modern World. So I thought this is a great uh, pocket book to carry around. It has some uh, pictures. Uh, seems like an interesting one. So I went ahead and got that. Other than that, mainly the books that I like to pick up are like DIYs or cookbooks because I want to do more of the hands-on stuff. So there's this one right here that says how to make jewelry. And they have different um, projects that you can do. Love books that have colored pictures so that I can see what the end product is supposed to look like. But yeah, there's a lot of interesting projects for this one. So I was excited to find this book. Um, the other uh, DIY one is this one, Gifts for Kids to Make. So this one would be great for me to uh, work with my nieces and nephews on when they come over. Just a fun stuff. So again, very pretty pictures in it. Love that. And then picked up two more cookbooks. This one right here is Intimate Gatherings, Great Food for Great Friends. And original is 1895, and then also it uh, has a lot of pictures in it for me to uh, see what it is and the recipes. And I got that one. The other one that I got was this one. And these are very like good quality books. And this one is the Kitschy Kitchen: New Classics for Living Deliciously, Claire Thomas. So again, full of nice pictures and recipes. I really like that. So once I can get into the kitchen and work on these, learn some of these recipes, I will be so excited. I will feel so accomplished <laughs> after doing that. So those were the books. A um, couple of things for... Oh, actually, before I get into some toy items, um, picked up some DVDs. They had so much, but I only um, picked up a couple. This one is the one with Penelope Cruz and uh, with um, Ben Kingsley. This is an uh, elegy. I think it was a pretty good movie. It had pretty good reviews. And then this one is um, with George Clooney and Mark Wahlberg, The Perfect Storm. And then this one is Slumdog Millionaire. I think this was the one that got um, Best Picture one year at the uh, Academy Awards. So I never watched it, so I gotta watch that movie. So I picked up those three. Okay, on to a couple of uh, fun finds. Um, I picked up this inflatable globe for my niece. I did pick up one before, but uh, there was a tear in it after she was playing with it for a long time. So it deflated, but this is so cool, you guys. It, it actually turns out quite neat. It's clear and you could see the whole globe um, on it. It's just fun to play with. So I got that for her. I also picked up these. These are the Sesame Street Elmo, the musical, and they're like these... Uh, pop-up ones which I think is so much fun so she really liked the foamy one from Hello Kitty um, but she also likes Elmo so I thought these are super cute for her to play with um, so there's this one and then there's this one Elmo the musical space pizza also very cute here all right and then I also got this for my older niece this is the Care Bears grab bag and I thought it was so cute. It comes with like coloring uh, set with the markers or some stickers. Just thought she would love that. And these are for me, you guys. These are the Hello Kitty word finds. Um, I like word finds because they're easier for me compared to crossword puzzles. And, you know, they just get my mind off things sometimes. You know, when you want to relieve stress, um, I've been going into coloring for the adult coloring books. But sometimes if I don't have those coloring books or um, colored pencils with me, this is great to carry around. It's good for traveling as well. But these are the new ones. These are the Hello Kitty word finds in volume 5. And then this one is volume 6. So I went ahead and got that. And then um, for my niece, I also got her some of these play sets for the kitchen. They're like these plastic uh, food items. Uh, this one right here has like the uh, corn, the squash, uh, pepper. And then this one also has some fruits in it, the orange, uh, the grapes, strawberry, banana. And then this one right here has like french fries, sausage, croissant. So I thought that would be fun for her. She likes playing with those uh, kitchen items. All right, couple of more things, you guys, and then I, uh, I am so, so excited to finish this haul and show you guys what I got. This one is one of those um, book storage 
boxes. And I just love the pictures on these, very country-like. This would look cute in the kitchen, actually, right? And the food items, not a lot, you guys. Just picked up this. This is the Keebler Chips Deluxe Cookies, um, the minis. And uh, this comes in a four-pack, so this would be great for me to bring to work. I was also craving some M&Ms, so went ahead and got this one. That's in the box, and it says celebrating 75 years. So I guess this was one of the designs of the M&M um, from, I guess, from the 1950s, it looks like. So I'm going to bring these to work. All right, guys, and finally, my favorite finds from this past weekend are these Hello Kitty plushes from the TY brand. I could not believe it when I saw pictures of these on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Um, I am just so shocked that um, Dollar Tree has these Hello Kitty items. I mean, I've seen the Thai Beanie Babies before, but uh, I would have never imagined Hello Kitty being at Dollar Tree. So uh, I was going on a hunt this weekend for finding as many of the different designs as I can find, and I just had to snag them. Some of the stores, I even had to call them to ask them first if they had it and ask them to put it on hold for me, and I'm glad I did because the one store that I called first on Saturday morning, um, she saved them uh, for me, and then by the time I got to the store, that bin that was holding it, uh, holding them were completely gone. So I'm so glad I called. So you should definitely call your Dollar Trees as well. Um, they should be coming in your stores very soon. If you haven't seen them yet, I think because of the Memorial Day holiday, there's been some delay in their truck shipments, but um, I think they'll be coming very, very soon. So I hope to collect uh, all of them if I can, but I was really excited with the ones I found so far so this one's like a cheerleader one with the uh pom-poms i thought that was really cute she's wearing this pink satin dress that says hk on it um this uh hello kitty has like this iridescent looking bow and tail she's like in the mermaid form i love the colors um in her outfit and then uh these two are super cute as well this one she is uh, has a rainbow bow and is holding a cupcake uh this one she's wearing a very cute polka dot dress holding a lollipop. I know there's one with a cotton candy too, so I hope that one uh, comes in one of my stores uh, next week. And this one is super cute. This one, she is wearing the sunglasses, uh, not sunglasses, the reading glasses, so she looks very studious uh, in this one. And then they had the beanie balls as well, so I got this one of the Hello Kitty. One store didn't have any Hello Kitty and all they had was this uh, guy from Monsters, Inc., Mike Wazowski. So um, I found him. I thought he was really uh, cute. So I went ahead and got that. And then I got this. Um, this one, they only had one. And she actually didn't even put it on hold for me. I actually found it on my own um, with the other uh, stuffed animals in the, the toy area. So I'm glad I found at least one of um, her. So I was so excited to find these Hello Kitty. So definitely check out your Dollar Trees. These make such great gifts for Hello Kitty lovers um, or, you know, for maybe um, birthdays. Like if, if your kids like Hello Kitty. My nieces don't like Hello Kitty as much as I do maybe because it's just a different generation. But... I grew up liking Hello Kitty, so I think they like more like Shopkins and um, My Little Pony now. So it's it's just, I, I feel like Hello Kitty is just not as popular with the kids uh, nowadays, um, which is unfortunately because she is super cute. But you know what? I will definitely stock up on them uh, being that they're only a dollar. Um, each. So really excited with that. Uh, so that completes my Dollar Tree hauls, you guys. I am finally all caught up. So my Dollar Trees going forward should be the recent ones, uh, not ones from a couple of months. And I will be back soon. Um, definitely going back to work tomorrow. So um, might not be able to do a haul till uh, this weekend or next week, but still have some stuff from Target that I want to show you guys, uh, as well as some other um, items as well from Michael's and some other stores that I've been shopping at. So again, thank you all so much for your support. I really appreciate all your comments, um, all the feedback, and I uh, can't wait to talk to you all soon in my next video. Have a great rest of the week, you guys. Take care. Bye.